But who would have thought the old nose to have so much snot in it? <coughs> Hello, Curios! I am working remotely. Um, not, not from my home. From uh, Angelique's home. Uh, because yesterday... <coughs> that, that lovely noise that just came out of me... Um, made my boss rather concerned. I've been getting over an upper respiratory infection and my nose is running like crazy uh, because I'm on the tail end. Like I'm on that weird thing where it's like the worst noises are happening because literally in like a day or two, it's just gonna stop. And I've been like hitting it real hard. <coughs> Dayquil. If you follow me on Twitter, Facebook, I believe I also posted a link to the Twitter thread about it. Um, it didn't actually make my deadline, which is okay. Because I realized the reason I didn't make my deadline um, was for a few factors. The first, obviously, was the most obvious. Right now, I'm at 74,000 words. And I am maybe a little over halfway done with Changeling, uh, this current draft. Bear in mind, Alice, in its entirety, was, I believe, about 60, 61,000 words. So... A little bit longer this time, considering um, I'm I'm well over that, and we're only about a little, a little more than halfway. So I suspect this book may end up being twice as long. Two, when I initially wrote the draft for Alice, I was also in a much different mental space. Um, my brother had passed, and I was very much like, I need to lose myself. I need to just disappear. I don't want to see anybody. I don't want to talk to anybody. I just want to be like here. Um, so obviously I'm not there anymore. I'm I'm actually like seeing friends and being social and that's it's not a bad thing. Um But three, I actually approached it much different because since I wasn't in the I want to just ignore everything else, um, I actually knew when to stop and go, you know what, right now I am burning the candle at both ends and maybe I should take a day to just sort of relax and chill out a bit and then start again tomorrow. And while that was a slower process, I'm able to give more thought and really think about what I'm writing and really like, for the most part, what I'm writing. I mean, obviously, once this draft is done, I'm, I'm gonna go through edits and, and whatnot still, but for the most part, I don't completely hate it. It's just <coughs> really weird for me, because that used to be just kind of part of my process. Um, and then, you know, life events happen like we did LOJ, which was great. Um, I have a snippet of a video uh, that went up on my Instagram, but here it is now of like something someone took about because I got to sing an original song that I I got to sing an original song that I wrote, and I was I was very excited. Time just like the river flows, we carry on. Nobody knows the worlds we walk between, and though we come. vacation as you know and that was amazing and I got some writing done on that too which was lovely um but it was just really great to like just actually do good things for me and realizing that maybe that's part of being an adult like we talk about adulting is something bad um and I still firmly believe I will never fully grow up but the more I think about it the more I look at like the habits I had as like a college student or a high schooler, like I'm, I'm in crunch and I'm doing all the, you're like basically abusing your body because your body has yet to get to a point where it's like, eh, maybe we shouldn't. Um, Cause it's not punishing you for that yet. And 
honestly, mine's mine's doing pretty well, but I but I'm really striving to to do that whole like you know young at heart thing. If you should survive to 105, think of all you'll derive out of being alive. Here's the best part: you have a head start if you are among the very young at heart. Regardless of if I want to, you know, live to 105 or just live well or, you know, live forever like in fame. I'm gonna live forever. The point is, I need to really evaluate what adulting means, which we always think about it like, oh, it's doing my taxes, it's calling my health insurance and going, what is this $200 bill you sent me? I thought this was covered, which, funny story, something I have to do. I'm not looking forward to that. Which was dumb, because the first time I got an upper respiratory infection, I went to urgent care and was like, hey, is this what I think it is? And they were like, yup. And I paid my $50 copay, and it was fine and dandy, and then, like a month later, they sent me a $200 bill, and I'm like, what is this? Adulting also means taking time for you and going like, yeah, you know what? I could really run myself into the ground with this like I used to in college or high school or whatever. Or I could take some time for me and that's okay. Nano is coming. Yes, I know it's only like September, but Nano is coming. Um, and because of that, I would love to hear from you lovely folks, whether you are doing it um, for the whole month of Nano or if you just, you know, what, what helps you when you are looking for inspiration or motivation when you are working on something creative. Because maybe you wanna use November for something like, maybe you don't wanna do NaNoWriMo, maybe you're not really interested in writing a novel. Maybe you're more like, I want to do a little doodle every day, which I know we've got Inktober for that, but you know, whatever. We're talking about solidarity and our creativeness, and that's what I'm talking about. So I want to see if I can try and preload some, between now and, and November, which gives me plenty of time to do it at a leisurely pace, create some like little short one minute, 30 second videos that will be uploaded once per day in the month of November that will be like, hey, this is something fun for you. So what helps you? Um, I would love to hear about it. And <coughs> I'm also looking forward to being able to sing again. Um, I'm still working on Changeling, on my Patreon. If you have, if you remember, um, you'll still get access right now to that writing crunch stuff, um, even though we're not quite going as ham as we have been in the past, because um, I'm also gonna be posting other things as well, and reviving my blog, and just sort of like, going like, let's live life again, and all of that jazz. I don't know, I'm, I really wanted to just sort of talk to you guys and just kind of update you on what's gone with my life because it's been a bit and I feel like I'm in a place now where I'm like, okay, let's, let's start getting things going again. Plus I just, I really kind of miss making silly little videos and even just little vlog videos. Ha! Huh. Anyway, that is me. Yes. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great time. Please update me on what's going on with you and I know I haven't been on the discord lately and I will be fixing that soon as well and running that in the background when I'm doing other things on my computer and I'm actually at my computer so yeah I love you guys and I hope you are having a wonderful <coughs> day and I will talk to you later bye